Yeah, yeah, yeah record. Tell her you're in trouble. It does stream it to YouTube, and then it's out there. But anybody who wants to watch these meetings, it's probably not a big So it's, it's just on now. It's, yeah, it's on right now, so I better announce. So this is the <laughs> Coffee County Strategic Plan meeting for Tuesday the 29th, I guess. So, right. And uh, so I think we got – so we had an agenda here, um, which is approved the, of the agenda. Do I have a motion to approve the agenda, which is basically one item tonight? All right. Thank you, but I'll second it. All right. All in favor? <coughs> Aye. Aye. Any public comments? All right. Um, we're not going to approve the minutes for July 20th meeting because I hadn't written them yet, so i got to get that done. But uh, it was all of about three sentences, so I will get that done this weekend when I've actually got some time off. Uh, I had fun getting here from Huntsville. I left at 3.30 and barely, barely made it. <laughs> so... so uh, Claude put a little bit of stuff together, and then I moved this into a, this kind of graphical format this weekend uh, or Sunday, uh, but, but Claude was not able to get as much. As you can tell, it's pretty rough still, and I apologize. It's not further along. Um, I spent months doing South Jackson Goes Country. Claude was going to work on it. Claude's wife had some health troubles in this last month, pretty, pretty significant, so it really uh, distracted him from getting done. Uh, I've got probably pretty much the whole Labor Day weekend sitting at my mom and dad's with nothing to do but edit and play with things like this. So mm -hmm. I expect to, to do quite a bit on it this weekend. Uh, Calendar-wise, let's see, next week would be the first week of the month. And uh, I don't know if we can uh, get it done in time or not, but, you know, I'd like to, to get on with this. And I know you guys are tired of coming to meetings. Um, Where's my calendar? Oh, it's right in front of me. So next next Thursday would, would be our regular meeting time, first Thursday of the month, the 7th. And then the full commission would be meeting the following Tuesday. If we could get in shape, I think it'd be, you know, if I could get in shape with you guys this weekend so that we could kind of polish it in, in a meeting next Thursday if everybody's planning then I'd like to look, 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 see if the mayor would let us have a, like a little public hearing session before the county commission 30 minutes early on that Tuesday and we could present it. Uh, what, so what was the date on that again? The, 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 our next meeting would be the 7th and then that following Tuesday would be the 12th. 12th, okay. We're, so. we'll still we're, going to, we're, we're going for a wedding in Texas. That so we'll be gone for a few days, yeah. yeah. Well, I hate that, but we'll be sure and get you credit. We'll, we'll, we'll still be here. Oh, okay, okay, we'll still be okay, here. okay. So that's kind of what I would like to do. Um, and it looks like uh, he's got <coughs> notes. That's good. And I guess uh, there's a few things. Well, there's several things in here. Uh, obviously, I talked to Claude the other day, and he had just, you know, tried to get some boilerplate in here that needs to be rewritten pretty strongly. And, uh, so I'm looking for ideas from you guys about, you know, what do we need to put in here besides just our strategy and goals that we've identified. A couple of those we've actually accomplished, so they probably need to be taken off. Um, and then obviously the language on those needs to be cleaned up because those were originally just kind of my bullet points, so I didn't forget what they are. Um, I guess just a quick question. Do, do you kind of like adding, breaking that out page by page? Yes. Uh, the font's kind of large, which is intentional, but I, I, I do think what I'll try to do is put one paragraph at the begin, at the top of each one, maybe just saying, here's what this area is about, and here's a few key things that are going on. Uh, it's a nice structure to get us started. Yeah, that, that was my goal. And I, I think we should strive to maintain the brevity of the document. I, I like writing succinctly, so you'll see that. Come, you won't see me add tons of... <laughs> what was that? I don't think we could hear you. <laughs> Uh, I do t t tend to write pretty concisely uh, when I'm writing something like this, so um, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to accomplish that. I agree, it needs to be pretty brief. Um, the um, Hopefully the graphics are suitable. I just tried to put something related to each topic that I could find on the Internet that I thought wasn't extremely copyrighted. So, <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> I don't know how you guys want to go through this tonight. I think we'll be here terribly long tonight, but uh, I just wanted to ask, like in this first section, what? And, and the other thing, we got we got to get everybody's names on here, uh, whether you want the credit or not. I think you all deserve credit for showing up, so we'll get a little section in here about who, who worked on the on the plan. Uh, what What do y'all like want to see in the in the foreground material that's that's not already hinted at here? Uh, 
Um, you got a list, looks like. Yeah, I got some thoughts. Yep. Um, so, uh, in the background, I, I think. Uh, can, and you, can I get a copy of that or take that when I, you're done? I've got this for you. Awesome. Uh, I think uh, there's an opportunity to, to uh, add some definition to what these events might mean and why this plan would be important. Yeah. So uh, I think it may even be a great place for a chart, uh, a graph that would show, and I don't know exactly what this looks like. I got, I'll give you my post-it, but uh, I think representing what traditional growth, historic growth has looked like in the county and then uh, what we think uh, the AEDC spike looks like, and uh, and I know that's a range. Right, right, but we can and, come and, up with a number. And then a range for what the uh, the mega site opportunity might mean, and and then a combined total of what that may be, that would just kind of put in perspective just how yeah. uh, steep this curve is going to be, and how important this plan is. And I think. Uh, Stephen can help help me write with with both two because other thing that's that's not in those two numbers is the add-on growth that comes from you know for every ten jobs that they add how many ancillary jobs do we get and I know I think Stephen could probably help with Matt couldn't he I, I, I know I've had that kind of discussion with him before because then you could have like another line even on top of that and I got a little more clarity around the thoughts in there about about that on the background I thought yep. in general the uh, mission statement. Uh, it's pretty clear and concise. Uh, I would call it short and sweet. Yep. Captures the thought. And um, and I also believe that in, in the goals piece where we talk about uh, uh, quality of life <coughs> being kind of, you know, here's, here's what we hope to, to maintain, yeah. improve is quality of life. I thought that was really, really strong. Good. Um, I do believe that as we go through some of the detailed things, uh, uh, I've noted that uh, the the it, the why is missing. Yeah. Why is this yeah. important? Yeah, I, I had the same thought. And and um, and and so if we're if we're going to spend the effort to put something in here and believe it's important, why and what difference might it make? Uh, so how does it impact things? And and. Um, I also think that we probably have some confusion between goals and recommendations. Yeah. And and so I've tried to make some comments on that and add some thoughts on what those goals might. Yeah, and that was one of the things I was going to put in the, in the foreground material is here's what's intended by goal, here's what's intended by recommendation. This basically that clarification that we generally had about recommendations, something the county commission can't necessarily directly control, but recommends to. Well, work we had on a few things, uh, so th there's a whole lot about those kinds of things that you can you can take them or leave them. No, I, I had, definitely want to look, look uh, at those. One thing that I'm going to just kind of, I'm going. This is going to be the last time I bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, under the general comments, I, uh, I do believe that the information and demographic data availability is a key importance in the long-term planning and in the day-to-day -day management of Cobb County and yeah. or any other enterprise. And, uh, and and I have really found that, that is, it's been a struggle. Uh, we've, we've gotten the opportunity to see things, numbers, and understand more when we request, we've requested stakeholders come in and sit with us. Mm -hmm. They bring data, but it's data that's not available any other time. Yeah. I can't imagine how the commission would hope to manage the county and plan growth and manage growth without having better uh, availability maps and you know so so uh, whether it's a, it gets its own page or whether it's just a strong recommendation I think so we have another recommendation in there about um, and I had a similar not exactly the same as your but a similar thought so I think maybe these go together so it's on the county commission page we had made a recommendation for the county commission to get a report on growth areas in the county and also somewhere we said we would like the county commission to get them a report on the like the growth and property value got it that probably ought to just all be wrapped up to a section if we ought to develop a set 
of information that the county commission ought to be reports that the county commission ought to get on a regular basis and it could include that sort of map and data stuff as well uh, yeah and and so i don't know that you would want to report that but making it available on a portal <coughs> yeah. uh, in a lot of cases i mean i'm absolutely sure most of our things that are being uh they're, they're being developed already right they're being maintained yeah. and they're out there and so it may be as simple as a link uh, but but uh, I, I just I just believe it's a huge gap in the in that in, in information that would be most valuable if I, we could I think you're right I mean we just went through this with the budget where we have multiple discussions now commissioner saying oh I didn't understand I didn't know I don't know where to get the information so we probably need to do better across the board on that for the whole commission i think you're both hitting on two different two two good ideas one your your aspect of a tool a resource yeah right versus a report right right but you're also talking about in some ways a uh, a limited scorecard yes. kind of view for the county commission to yeah. see trends over time that's a good good way to put it so. yeah because it sounds uh, like what you're saying is really an ongoing tool Yes. Right. That is a yeah. mechanism. That yeah. is a mechanism to make it all function and work. Exactly. Rather than continually every few years figuring out where you are again, and being able to keep track of it. Yeah, and you, that that's even one of the things that, in some sense, I've had some similar discussions with the mayor and with Sam about, uh, you know, where can people, in general, and commissioners go to find information. You know, they're working on that in some ways but, but there's several things you listed there that yeah we don't really have great access to it yet to me especially as a commissioner it'd be useful to me to be able to any moment just click link and look at all the zoning maps all the highway maps and all that kind of stuff just anytime i need to look at it yeah and maybe that's partly available now but i don't think it is online i don't think so yeah well if you if you can designate an owner and i know it's yeah. a broad range of data the the lag time from the time you need it as a commissioner to the time you get it is going to be short or small. because sometimes yeah. it takes a while to refresh that yeah. if you're not and i've thought the same used. thing i would like to put together like a little set of summary charts for budget information the same way that's not the whole 50 page line by line detailed right. booklet but I'm, i you know i've done it every year for myself make that little pie chart where's the money coming from where's the money going that ought to be out on the website somewhere too well, and, and, and the key to information being available is it be it be updated information. Yeah, I know a lot yeah. of times I look for statistics it's outside old. of uh, and, you know four or five years old. Yeah. It's about near yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That frustrates me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I'll say about the goals and purposes is, is that and the quality of life is a, a good uh, you know banner for but fiscal preparation um, for as especially from the governmental standpoint okay uh, I think that's part okay. of the and what I hope to do is put an updated version of this out like Monday morning before I start getting in the car and driving back to Tennessee and then if you guys could look at it like even you know in the next two or three days I might even have a chance to do one more set of fine edits before we get in here on Thursday yeah. and there's no rule that says we have to be to, to an absolute final version on Thursday but we'll be close I hope so uh, under the general comments, I'll, I'll just add in yep. that uh, we should consider, you know, the thought process of, I think we don't want to go through this and come up with a plan that then becomes dusty on a shelf. Yeah. And, and so in order to make sure that uh, you develop, you know, metrics on how you're doing against those goals and that somebody is, is working these things and that it doesn't just get forgotten. I think uh, almost everything that we're recommending, uh, it 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 would there's an organization within the county that should have ownership of that, so it should be their annual thing or their reporting thing, as you yeah. with their update thing, and and, uh, and so I think uh, as we go through, <coughs> if it's clear where that ownership ought to to reside. Because it, I think we've got to be careful that it doesn't reside with the commission because the commission's elected officials and they're coming in and out and and, and so uh, yeah I think that I, I think the ownership of those things ought to be from from the folks that are 
that are actually here It'd be with staff. organizations. Possible. I think another thing we need to look at, you know, we need to define periodic basis for our recommendations to achieve our goals. The ones that we can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's something we should order. And then the last kind of general thing, I have found several times in here where uh, I'm not sure that I'm ready for the recommendation to be as solid as what we've put in here. I agree. And, <laughs> I think Claude and, added a couple. I was like, yeah, it's a little, it's a little and, solid. And I think there's, there's uh, a lot of what and how that needs to be understood Yeah. Uh, rather than making a recommendation. I guess my number one thing is on the uh, co-location of the yeah. jail and the justice yeah. center. Yeah. I think, you know, we talked about that and we understand that there may be some advantages to that, but I think, I don't know that we came up with that as a recommendation. Yeah, I think we and, should soften some of those and say commission well, should go study that. Yeah, I think our recommendation would be it would that, they, that it be studied by the yeah. commission or by somebody. There's a lot of best practices that are yeah. out there. So. If I may, right quick, that yeah. uh, regarding the jail and the justice center, uh, we had, we actually had that model existed and tested, and at the old jail and where the justice center is now, it uh, the sheriffs plural have always considered that a huge advantage for mm -hmm. Coffee County. And there was actually other county governments visited Coffee County periodically to view that setup because it made so much sense. Mm -hmm. It ended transportation, it ended a lot of security issues. We have uh, inmates being transported several miles right now. Mm -hmm. And that in itself, uh, logistically speaking, is dangerous. Yeah. And uh, we, we got away from it, but I think everybody in law enforcement in Coffee County definitely favors going back to that. Yeah, and and I had and I accept that. Yeah. Uh, and, and in fact, I understood that that was what we heard when the the judges then and the justice folks came in and mm -hmm. talked to us, right? Uh, but but uh, at the same time, I look at, for instance, Murfreesboro, <coughs> who has just built kind of the state of the art here's for a justice center. And uh, it's located downtown and not near there. It, but they do have some sales within, <coughs> within it. So I just, I just think it's worth one. I, I would be hesitant based on what I've known, what I know and what I've learned to, to, to be able to recommend it as being the right thing to do. For us at this time for is us, the way I was thinking. As, as our, yeah. I just don't know enough that I'd say, yeah, I recommend that. Know enough to say, yeah, I think all the people that I know that know best would recommend that. Uh, but but I'm not quite ready to. Well, to me, that recommendation at that time implies you're going to build a whole new jail, and now you've got a huge financial consideration that comes into play in addition to the other things that we've talked about. Or you're going to put a justice center out there. But next either, to way, right. either way, so <laughs> there's a big. I, I just I just think that's a, that's a, that requires more study than what we've been able to accomplish in order to to deliver it. And I think there's several things in here that. In my notes, I've just said, hey, that's probably something that, need, that the solution needs to be studied. Our recommendation should be a, a further look as opposed to a move toward. My, my goal all along with this has been to identify things, to put it in the front of the attention of the commission and keep the commission's attention on it until it's resolved, on either it's something to do or not to do. The problem we've had, I think, in the past, and I think many communities have this, is these things just don't get considered at all, and then all of a sudden one day you wake up and you've got Murfreesboro traffic or whatever the issue is of the day. So I don't think we have to have solid recommendations on solutions. I like to see recommendations on things to put attention to. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. How, how do we inject the whole strategy is one of the things I'm wondering about. I don't know if we have a whole strategy. <laughs> That's where the strategic <laughs> plan yeah. group. I keep wondering, well, what, what is the strategy? You know, how do we prioritize whatever it is we're going to do? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think at this level, the strategy is identifying things to put attention to, first of all, and, and some sense of why you want to do it that way. I don't think strategy has to, I don't think we know the future well enough to have a, well, it's not like a military strategy for a plan of yeah. attack, right? It's, it's, it's 
some very it's, it's a little vague. I know. Well, it would probably fall apart in the first year anyway. They do. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's the thing. But well, yes. But it's letting the stakeholders know that are going to be on the front lines of whatever that when it, wherever that growth hits in whatever form or fashion it, it starts to hit, that stakeholder knows that they've got the support of the commission to look forward and create a plan and prepare. I, I hope mean, so. To, yeah. I mean that to me that that's how you share the vision is we drug all these people in here because they're standing in between the county and this growth and when it starts to hit them they need to know that that's their responsibility to prepare plan and react and they've got the support of the commission yeah and so i guess in that sense there's almost two two strategies right there's and this is to me we're at number one which is just looking in the near term future what do we expect to happen we better get ready for that number two is boy if we really had our druthers what would we like the community to look like we haven't had that full discussion with the community yet and i think you got to get to the point of saying well here's what we think is going to happen here's what we're doing about that and get some trust built up before we can go to number two it's like hey how would you guys really like to structure this if you if you could do it because that's going to require cooperation across multiple governments here in the county that i don't think that level of trust is there yet to say we can't even decide within our cities right now what we want to do for the future but we can at least look at obvious things that are going to have to be done and, and take action on those. That's kind of where I'm at. Exactly. And what I'm thinking is in that whole process that you said, a good good thing, uh, how do we remain nimble? Yeah. Because you know we're going to get surprises. Oh, yeah. So how do we, be, how we, how do we have a structure that is nimble enough to, <coughs> to deal with it? And I think the thing there is to keep bringing it back to our attention every year. Exactly. That's, that's the part we've got to be careful about. And we can't guarantee that going forward. But what else in the intro in material? That's kind of all the general stuff. Okay. And all the rest is just uh, just detailed comments. Yeah, just yep. just kind of comments on I mean, like you'd expect on the first draft. Yep. Anything. Yep. Well, like I said, if you <laughs> flip over, let's see. Just for the sake of argument, so like county commission, there one of the, one of the things I, I'm going to do, and it may require its own separate. I was trying not to break these into two pages, but on the front material, I want to put a little discussion of what's the difference between goal and recommendation. We'll have, have that discussion, and then it was coming to this. I don't know. I'll probably put a sentence or two at the top, but right there in the in the recommendations, that annual report to me, that's a place to put the general comments you just made about. It maybe maybe it becomes two bullet points: one on things that ought to be reported to the commission, and two is what what information should be available to the commission and maybe the public at all times you know um, that's the, and some of these need more words uh, the higher the certified HR director is kind of shorthand I'm probably going to finesse that one a little bit just because of all the discussions we've been having uh, I mean we just had a good meeting yesterday talking about HR and, mm -hmm. and things and employee and performance plan we actually voted through a the beginnings of a performance plan last night um, that'll be on the ballot uh, on the ballot it'll be on the agenda for the next county commission meeting I guess uh, I want to figure out what certified HR director means I'm probably going to broaden that a little bit because I think there's a good chance we'll get pushed back on an individual hire but I don't want to lose the thought of what the, what we're trying to accomplish there so but we need we need some more formalized HR function in some form or fashion I think uh, so. When I my quick read, uh, I think you'd want to broaden the HR goal. Yeah. Uh, to basically be a, to establish a structure to better support, and maintain uh, the yeah, county's human that. resources, and then the recommendations would be, uh, you know, several. Yeah. And and they just start to kind of color the thought process of what we think that they would do and what the benefit of those would be. Yeah, I like that. I'll work with that. It's a pay scale thing. It, to me, that one's going to be. You said. You said. You said address. That's the thing. Right? We don't know exactly how the plan would work out. If anything, it may be something. I would just like to see us have something written on that one. If it's going to be the county commission is just going to look at how much money we got every year and pick a number out of the air, then we ought to write that down so at least people know that that's what the expectation is. Because right now we got people that they don't know what the expectation is, and it, it causes uncertainty causes uh, nervousness on the part of them. So I'm going to just glance at some of your comments, go through here. Yep, the land use and zoning, 
I need to write a little intro paragraph for that. Yeah, this is one where we had some that were a little bit specific. <laughs> so they generalize those back a little bit. I just I just don't know enough to say that I would support recommending some things. Yeah. I just I'm just not, I just don't know enough. Well, and in health, welfare, and recreation, we may be changing some of their some of their uh, duties as we consider some other stuff as well. Well, the education goal, uh, maybe to make that say that <clears throat> we'd like to better match the education opportunities available to the county to address the area of future needs. We can do that in order to enhance our offering to industry and provide opportunities for local workforce. Yeah, you got that word down there. I, said, I just yeah. think that's a agree. broadly kind of hope we hope to accomplishing that goal yep. and then uh, you know the one thing that I didn't see mentioned under the education was is we talked a lot about what's the right size for a high school what's the right location you know and, and so uh, yeah it, it seemed to me that uh, it might be worth a study to determine the best in class approaches for educational facilities like location proximity uh, security size. Yeah, right here. Kind of thing. yeah, it's right here. Ah, yeah. Sorry. Well, another thing I realized we didn't have in, in this one is we don't say anything at all about our our, our uh, college educations here locally. They're not my at least on some kind of line about <coughs> at least maintaining relations with UTSI and Milo, especially since they're both trying to do new things in the next few years. UTSI is going full bore on some new things. <coughs> I didn't like the farm. I didn't, I don't think we have enough here about farmland, Brent, so you might, if you can shoot me, look at it a little bit and send me an email about what you think's missing, what ought to be added in there. And obviously, two word sentences is too short, so I'll expand those. But, uh, I definitely may bounce back and forth with you a couple times on that. And then we got a whole bunch of stuff listed under industrial development, so David, look at that and see if you want to shorten that list or make it more concise or leave it like it, like it is. So, may just made to get the fonts just a little smaller. I just don't want to leave them too small. Um, fire and ambulance is funny because we just voted to dissolve the ambulance board last time. Oh. <laughs> really? Oh. Well, turns out we don't actually, we didn't actually have an actual board anyway. It was more <coughs> like a committee. We're, we're going to create a new structure for that that will include the ability to include other groups besides just the ambulance. Uh, but there was apparently, I, I'm not the expert on that one, but uh, you probably know a little more about it than I do, but you know, uh, several of the, several of the people that are associated with the fire and the police have had opinions about that for a long time, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so, Still yeah, so, but anyway, uh, I'm just gonna make sure I didn't say anything here that's gonna conflict too bad with whatever it was we did last night. I thought the uh, government relations piece yep. um, kind of got a shot at a goal there, but um, I like that. Yeah, I kind of think that while we uh, seemed in agreement with the need for housing and, and child care for the growing workforce, yeah, that recommendation seems to be a bit out of place in this section, and the topic might merit its own. Yeah, it might. Well, if nothing else, it might category. go into. I don't, I don't know. If nothing else, it'd probably go more towards uh, zoning than with the housing part, especially. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll think of it. let me read you the, his, the goal, or Robert, you got here for everybody else to benefit with. He's got enhanced coordination, and cooperation between community governments for improved efficiency and effectiveness. I think that's that's a good goal, and I think the county commission can do something about that. So. Highways and solid waste, that thing on the drain pipes, I've got to get some more language so that that's a little more clear what we're talking about, or at least uh, give everybody an idea what's going on with that. Uh, on the, back to the government relations, yeah. is there a carrot that can be put in there to, to facilitate <coughs> that cooperation? 
I don't know. That's a good question. Let me think about that. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I can see benefits that come out of it, but can you put a carrot in to bring about those, ensure those benefits? No, see, back to highway solid just, way, I, sorry. Well, no, 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 you, you, you just got me thinking now. And I was, the other thing is like in just in terms of time frame. So, Oklahoma has had municipal elections the next year, next summer. Is these Manchester have municipal elections as well next summer? Yeah. So. August. Yeah, I thought you did, but I wasn't sure. So that's other things kind of out of phase with who gets voted when with the county. So, all right, I'm just thinking in terms of if you were going to try to do something, who are you going to be doing it with? <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, highways and solid waste. Did this, this no, I, okay. Sorry, I, I sort of interrupted you there. On no, the no, 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 you didn't. That was. And then the other thing is, uh, I originally didn't put these in any kind of order uh, because they were just however I'd written them down. But I'll, I'll probably try to order these so that they have some flow. There you go. No, that's just page number. <laughs> I don't know about the number. rest of you, but I'll chip in a couple of dollars to buy Lynn a stapler. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do this. I didn't do this. That was Connie up here in the front office. I texted her today. I said, or I sent her an email today. <laughs> yeah, go, go, go give that to the mayor. That way I've got two or three staplers. The question is if you can ever find one of them. But I'm a very good school teacher. We've got staplers and hole punches and glue and stickers and glitter. And um, no, uh, I, I emailed her about the middle of the day. I said, can you copy these for me? Times are a little harder at my house, though, Lynn. Well, <laughs> no, mine's worse because your ink didn't run out at the bottom. I, I tried to print myself one this morning. I got three whole pages before the ink just started going out. So they're making good money off of me. Oh, I remember the, just other things. Should we put, like, just a little table at the beginning just with just the goals? I think we mentioned earlier, or maybe that's just what we do in the uh, presentation. Seems, seems to me like uh, we ought to think about when we've gotten it written, we ought to we ought to look at the body of it and see if a like single one paragraph executive summary makes sense. Just to kind of tell them what you're going to tell them, yeah. And then at the end, some conclusions, just to remind them what it is that you told them. So it's just a, it's a, and 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 then you know I think we can put. Um, I understand that there's going to be at least some some uh, feeling that we're going to need some appendices and attachments and, and documentation that supports it. Um, I think we don't have a lot of that in a real good form, to be honest. Well, even if we did, I believe uh, we need to be careful not to grade ourselves by the pound. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and keep it in, in almost a leaflet kind of size because people are much more likely to look at it and say, I've got enough time to read this. Uh, yeah. Than oh my gosh! If if you go out online, and I've done this before. I did it when we were doing ours over in Tullahoma for the economic development. You just go out and start looking, search strategic plans for county, cities, economic development. They're almost all four or five pages, no appendices, and that's just the way that, that you find it. And th yeah. For the for the exact reason I think you're talking about. And I guess my feeling is if if somebody wants to, because uh, first of all, if I start doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend days and days and days trying to format something that people aren't. <laughs> you know, for the most part. And if people have specific questions, that's probably a chance to go have a real conversation with them and dig and find the most pertinent information that exists at the time. But if people really want to see it, I'll do it. I mean, I think Claude is wanting to do some of that. I'm not sure he's going to feel like he has time to do it either. So uh, I did want to talk about the presentation just a little bit. So as I do this, I'll probably then try to put a slide deck together. I'm going to assume we will take, we'd have like a 5.30 meeting before the full commission. We do that pretty commonly, just you know, meet 30 minutes early to, to have things like this reviewed. Uh, nobody wants to hear any presentation longer than 30 minutes anyway, probably more like 20. And I'd love for a couple of you guys, the citizen volunteers, to, to help do that presentation. To be honest, I'd like to give the invitation, but maybe you and David brief some of it, or anybody else that wants to. I was to. thinking you guys, when you pour it down. Well, yeah, I was, I was thinking we're on any of these guys. Or, or yeah. you just, I'm, well, I was thinking just take a couple of slides. That keeps on it from one person. Each. To seem to be droning on about yeah, it by yeah, doing that, yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So uh, I wasn't volunteering; I was just well, saying that's a good idea. I may start assigning them, but if y'all don't want to do it, that's fine. I mean, I'll do the whole thing, but I don't think anybody wants to hear me talk.
don't know. <coughs> and I, the other thing is, I, I would like for the commission to see that our volu community volunteers had good input on this. That it wasn't just a couple of commissioners making all this up. Mm -hmm. you, know, you guys, right. I contributed tremendously to this. I definitely think in the appendices we need to list the stakeholders who all, who, who we met yeah, with. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. I, I did think that that I need to get in here, so that would probably make a good appendices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it just gives people a sense of who was talking to who wasn't. And if they want to say, well, somebody's missing, it's like, great, go talk to them. Come back and tell me what they said. So, anyway, that's where we are. Apologize for not a little further along. August is always like the worst month ever for me. <coughs> this year was no exception. And uh, the cloth is indisposable indis 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 as well. So, but uh, hopefully, we get this done in a couple more meetings. You guys can get your weeknights back. Anybody got anything else? I'll try to bring two sets of minutes to the next meeting. I just, <coughs> I guess I, I'd say I, I thoroughly enjoyed being part of this. No, I, I appreciate that. I, I always enjoyed this kind of process too, for the most part. And, and we have, I mean, everybody has just contributed in such a way, and everything is very respectfully and working together. I like that sort of a spree decor going here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really benefit the county. We haven't tried to implement any of it yet. That's well, I understand that. <laughs> yeah. I understand that it's like any battle during a war. Your your plan just went out the first time yeah. somebody shoots at somebody. But 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 yeah. All right. But I'm also like Lynn said earlier. I, I like citizen involvement in these committees. I think you just bring lots and lots of stuff to the table. I just think it's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Anything else, Rick? You got anything? Sitting here, he's. <laughs> Man, I'm enjoying that. Make sure you're not. Yes, yeah, no. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yep. All right, we'll adjourn. Stop this thing.